Hey there, folks. Jimmy Stewart here. Hope this is finding you all doing well. Well, it's... What day is it? It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday here. It's April 21st, and it's New Guitar Day, hopefully. Yesterday was absolutely gorgeous, but here we go. And this is, like I said, it's the 21st of April, and this is what we're dealing with here. So... Just doesn't want to quit around here. Waiting for FedEx to arrive for a new guitar day here on the channel with a big surprise coming up. Well, it's about two hours later and I am still waiting and it is still snowing here. Just lovely. April 21st, 2021, with a winter that does not want to stop. Come on, FedEx. Hey, hey there, folks. It's Jimmy Stewart here, hoping this is finding you all doing well. Well, with the little brief intro that you saw there, uh, it's now a couple hours later and FedEx has arrived, even in the snow. You know, I need to stop buying guitars because it uh, seems like every time I get one, I'm receiving it in the snow. So if I buy one in June and do a review here on the channel, hopefully it won't be snowing. We'll just have to see. But anyway, today's video, we're going to take a look at this guy right here. forgot to open it. <laughs> Let's have a look. You all remember Susie, right? Again, folks, please don't try this at home. I am a trained professional. So let's have a look at this. Some of you might be already be able to tell from the box what we may or may not have here. Again, it's very cold outside. I don't understand the weather these days, but there you go. It's actually 32 degrees outside. This is crazy. And also remember to put Susie away when you're done. Here she goes. Back into her sheath. Let's see what we got today. A slight bit of trouble here today. Whew. It is chilly. And you're obligatory uh, hex wrench for adjusting. Well, this is kind of neat. This has got a dual thing on it. It's a smaller on one side, bigger on the other. And it looks like a small bridge adjustment key. Rubber bands, always save them. Baby. Yes, it's another Squire. You know, when I got the Jazzmaster, 
As you know, I swore I was never going to buy a Squire, but I was very, very impressed with that guitar, even though it needed a full setup, but most guitars do anyway. Uh, I thought this would be a great addition, only because it kind of opens up and solidifies my offset collection. As you know, I have the offset Mustang Hybrid from the folks at IYV, and that does my Mustang side. And then, of course, I got the Classic Vibe Jazzmaster right there that gave me my Jazzmaster stuff. Wow, look at this. So now I have added the Squire, Fender Squire Jaguar. A Jaguar in British and a Jaguar here in the States. Wow. Now you can see how this all fogged up just from taking it out of the box. So I'm going to let it set for just a slight amount of time here. And then I'll give you the up close video of what this is. This is actually the brand new, just came out. And you can't find them in any music stores, at least not yet. I haven't been able to find any. Uh, so I ordered this directly from Fender.com uh, there in California and received it just a couple of minutes ago. And this is the new 2021 Contemporary Squire uh, Jaguar model. What makes this kind of unique is that this has got the fixed bridge. It's on an actual tailpiece with a tunematic, uh, so it doesn't have the vibrator arm like the standard Jaguar would. But I have that in my Jazzmaster. I have that in my Mustang. I wanted to try something a little new. This is a contemporary, so this has got the uh, the stop tailpiece, and it's also unique in that this has got dual humbuckers, but they're coil tapping humbuckers. So we're going to see how that kind of works out as well. So this is a very unique guitar, brand new from Fender, Squire. I uh, love the burst on this. This is a Skyburst, they call it, metallic. It only comes in two colors, this particular color and a sh Shoreline, I think they call it, Shoreline Gold. Uh, I really like the looks of this. Um, but like I said, I'll, I'll stop it for now, uh, let this guitar acclimate a bit to the studio environment here, and we'll do an up-close video and then hopefully some tone checks and see how this thing plays. We'll be back here shortly, folks. Thanks. All right, folks, so here's the up-close video of the Squire Contemporary Jaguar. This is the HHST, meaning it's got the two, the dual humbuckers and the stop tailpiece. Uh, and this is in Sky Burst Metallic, which is really, really nice looking here live in the studio. Much better looking than what's listed in the Fender.com pictures. Uh, on Fender.com, almost, it almost looks like a green color. This is more blue, and it's called Skyburst Metallic. Very, very nice. And again, I decided to go with this because of the differences in this particular guitar. Again, it's brand new. Um, those coil tapping dual humbuckers are really supposed to be nice. So again, we'll get a chance to, to see them and hear them. Uh, they're the Squire SQR Atomic Humbucking Pickups. Um, that they call them here. Uh, this has got the stop tail piece with the TOM type bridge. Roasted maple neck. And the neck is absolutely gorgeous. It's actually got a sculpted neck heel and the painted headstock with the chrome logo is very very cool as well. The bridge has got a graphite nut there and the scale is different as well. If you go with the classic vibe, the Squire Classic Vibe Jazzmaster, that's the 70s Jazzmaster, that's a 24 scale. This is a 24-5 scale with jumbo frets instead of the tall, narrow frets. This has got the jumbos with a C-style neck. And what I really liked was what they did here with the controls and with the plates. The plates are all chromed out. I think it looks great. You get your three-way switch there. Again, neck, middle, and bridge. And then over here, you've got your phase in and out and your coil tapping. 
Again, we'll check those out when we do a tone check of this. Your normal standard curled knobs there, all chromed out, looks very, very good. The bridge and the tailpiece look excellent. Let me turn this guitar around so you can get a neck. This feels wonderful. It's got a satin neck, roasted maple. Let's see if you can see what I'm talking about here. You, this has got Squire on the back. It's actually got a nice uh, recessed heel. Sculpted heel neck, as you can see here. Looks great, feels great. I love offsets just because the way they, they sit, the way they feel when you either have them on a strap or in your lap. Nice belly cut. The sky blue burst metallic on this looks great. I don't know if you can actually see it in the camera, but the, it's got it's the metallic. There's not a flaw on this guitar. I've looked it over. So the actual guitar is done very, very well. Your standard tuning keys, sealed tuning keys. And you can see the difference on this as well as the classic vibes are made in Indonesia and this new model, the contemporary, is made in China. I've been hearing different things. Uh, I've been hearing that the China folks are doing great and so far looking at this guitar it does actually look very very good. I'm seeing absolutely no issues with the body. The frets feel absolutely beautiful. There is no sprouting. They look cleaned and polished. And again as cold as it is outside we're going to try to do a tone uh, sample right here today. Just 45 minutes or so out of the box. Just really, really nice looking guitar. Uh, hopefully, if it sounds anything close to how it looks, it's going to be a true winner. Again, this is the Squire by Fender. And this is the brand new contemporary HHST in Skyburst Blue Metallic. I'm loving the color of this. Black pickguard. It is a three ply black pickguard. It looks great. Again, I like the controls. I like the way they chromed out the plates. I love the roasted maple neck and the painted headstock with chrome logos. This looks cool. I think it looks great. Graphite nut. Jump row frets, 22 frets, 24 5 scale. So short scale. Very cool. All right. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the up close video of the Squire Contemporary HHST Jaguar. Let's give it some tone test, shall we? Again, as usual, I'm going to run it through the old standby, the Monoprice 15 watt stage right, which is my studio amp I'm going to almost all the time these days. If you have not seen the review and the upgrade review I did of the Monoprice, uh, check out the links here. I'd appreciate it. Uh, this is a standard Monoprice, although I did upgrade it with JJ Tubes and I put a three spring reverb in it. Again, check out the video for the upgrade there. So we're going to go in a clean tone here. Again, I'm in the middle right now.
that is split mode there. Full humbucker mode. And that's the phasing switch. Thing I need to do on this. There's no setup required. This is incredible.
Sounds pretty good. Squire Jaguar 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 Squire Jaguar uh, Contemporary HHST Jag Wow Very cool guitar Thank you folks for stopping in today Thank you so much for subscribing If you're still on the fence Come on over to the good side We'd love to have you aboard so for today, we're going to wrap it up. It's Jimmy Stewart saying so long. Take care of yourselves. Please stay healthy and stay safe. And we'll talk to you again very, very soon. Bye-bye for now.